Hi everybody, it's Miss Mickey here. Today we're going to continue with the creative process and for art, we're going to explore the develop stage. I think you guys defined that yesterday as the ideas and the experimenting stage. This is where we get to draft what our final artwork might look like. So today we need to start by taking our mind map that you created in your topic lesson and we're going to look at some of these ideas you wrote down. You might already have an idea of what you want your artwork to be and we're going to be sketching these. So things you will need are maybe a couple of sheets of paper, preferably not lined paper. It needs to be blank paper so that we can make some clear sketches and a pencil. I've also got a ruler here that could be really helpful to kind of section our page for the first sketches. If you don't have a ruler, you can free draw and that's okay. I also have with me the experiments of my chosen artist, which is Paul Klee. So I have the artwork that I recorded last week and the weeks before so that I can use them to help me in my creative thinking. Let's begin. So when we started with this mind map, you guys described a chosen artwork. I have mine here on my device. So it could be really helpful to have the image that you put in your slides. Uh, you might have done an image by Henry Matisse or Escher or Vincent van Gogh, and I chose Paul Klee. Now, this was the slide that I worked on yesterday for my topic lesson. So I have the artwork that I'm going to use today or that helped me come up with this mind map. Can you see? How cool is that? So that's the slide. Today, what we're going to do with whatever sketches we make, we're going to add them to our digital sketchbook. We can photograph the drawings that we make and put them in our digital sketchbook. So let's begin today by reviewing our mind map and start with some sketches, okay? I'm gonna just have this artwork next to me because that will be really helpful as I think about this mind map. So I described this artwork, these were all my words. You described your artwork, so you'll have your descriptions. Then I took three of those words and wrote them down and I came up with a list of things or objects that link to those describing words. So for my image, I wrote playful, portrait, and happy. And some of the words that stick out to me on here are things like sunshine. I would like to make an artwork to do with sunshine or dancing. I love those two words. Um, I also love the idea of... Um, maybe like a big smile. So I really, I really like this describing word. I think I'm really into the happy. I'm happy with happy. <laughs> and I also like um, the idea of this kind of portrait, like my face. I think Paul Klee does a lot of portraits. So maybe I could do a happy portrait. Maybe I could do a portrait of myself, my own version of this but maybe I want to make it look like I'm dancing. Maybe I want to make it look like my face is, is shining with sunshine. I'm not sure. So I've got lots of ideas going on in my mind. So with my mind map here, I'm going to start by using the ruler to have my page portrait and I'm just going to split it into some sections here doesn't have to be perfect. You can see I have three areas now on my page. One, two, three. And I'm gonna split it down the middle. You can see I'm not, you know, I'm not um, measuring this, but it gives me six boxes. So you can split it down the middle and then you've, you can kind of do it in thirds. Okay, you can ask someone to help you if you're finding that challenging. But otherwise, we're going to be drawing six small ideas. What could we create in our images here as a start of our ideas? Some things we wanna think about is what is my artwork gonna be? So is it gonna be like Klee and it's just gonna be exactly the same? That's my first idea. So I'm gonna write number one. It's my first idea and I had this on my phone here. I, 
I just copied that, yeah? To me, that's very similar. It's not really any different. It's not my own. Um, but I did write down on my mind map, I wrote here about a big smile. Now, he doesn't have any mouths. He has eyes. Maybe I could do like tiny eyes ideas, but maybe I work at this like big kind of smile shape, maybe. Okay, let's look at my mind map. I had sunshine, okay, so and portrait. So let me think my own idea. Maybe I could think of turning this round shape into some sort of sun shape in the style of Paul Klee. Maybe it's not even about a portrait. Maybe I focus on this sun and maybe I want my sunshine, this happy, playful sun to be in this style. Or maybe, maybe I could make the sun like inside of this shape that I've used before. Maybe there's like this invisible light square and then there's all these really cool shapes through it. Can you see that? Maybe it could be like my dancing sun. What do you think of that? And try not to copy me. Like these are my artwork ideas. You can use them as inspiration, but I'm sure you, you can come up with your own. If I'm getting stuck, like look at some of the other things we've drawn. Okay, here I've got the word toys. I wonder if I had a toy in a naive style, what would that look like? A toy, what kind of toy? Maybe I wanna have, maybe I wanna go with a balloon idea. Maybe my artwork is gonna be about a bunch of balloons. Maybe we still use this kind of shape but inside the balloons is gonna be this naive square style and maybe each balloon is made up of lots of different squares. What if I wanted to turn a portrait of my teddy bear? Oh my goodness, I'll have to show you my teddy bear. I really like this idea that I had. Maybe I'm just gonna write that down here. So if you come up with an idea and we don't understand it, you can explain it here. So I'm going to put here balloons. Okay, that was my idea. Here was the sun. Can you see how that's all making sense now? The sun, this was a portrait of a, a party person. So I'm just gonna write party person. And I think underneath it was also another party person. So I'm getting lots of different ideas here. This is really fun. This is really fun seeing how many ideas. Now I have to work at this teddy bear. I wonder what a teddy bear would look like in the style of Paul Klee. If I was gonna turn this <laughs> into a teddy bear, what would, what would I do? Would I have a mouth like that? Would I change the mouth? Would I use some of those invisible shapes in my teddy bear? Maybe. So I have a lot of ideas here from my mind map. Um, what I've done is I am deciding to choose my favorite one right now and make my first bigger sketch. So I really like, I really like the teddy bear and I found that I like the idea of love and joy and happiness and I wanted to put that into doing a version of myself in the naive style. And I have long crazy hair, which you all know. So I thought of making hair a naive style feature. And I took inspiration from these kind of shapes, this rainbow naive style. That's gonna look a little crazy. I'll have to draft it and see what that looks like. So right now I'm up to this stage. I'm gonna continue working the hair. Um, this is just my first bigger size draft of my thumbnail sketch. So today you need to do that too. Take one or two of the ones you like and make some bigger sketches. Then we can photograph both of these pages. So you can take your iPad or take your device, take a photo of these. So I'm taking a photo now. 
snap. Can you hear it snap? And then I'm going to put this photo into my digital sketchbook, which is here, I think, on this slide. Can you see that slide? There we go. So I can put this image into my digital sketchbook to show your teacher and to show me what your ideas are, your first ideas. So I hope you had fun everybody and I hope you came up with some really cool sketched ideas from your mind map. Um, these are our thumbnails, we call them thumbnails, these mini sketches. If you only did this today, that's okay. I really encourage you to try it big. I'm yet to spend time doing the hair that I wanted to do in my version. Um, so I'm gonna do that a bit later, take a break, come back and share these photos in our digital sketchbook. Have fun everybody, good luck with your ideas and we'll continue this next week as we develop as a part of the creative process.